Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. Tonight we're gonna go explore Folly Beach. Yeah, so come get Folly with us. Heading out to Foley Beach. Check out the marshes on both sides. It's super cool. There's a guy fishing back there in the marsh. There's a boat out on this side. And you'll see on this side there's nothing. Driving to the beach. Yeah. Just there's like no. Fort Myers had a single name Bergie. There's the big sign. Welcome to Foley Beach. Who's Foley? From what I understand, it's supposed to be one of the nicer beaches here. So. Alcohol, glass, and smoking prohibited. Okay. I don't know how you prohibit smoking in an outdoor place, though. No, no offense. Check out these beach houses, though. All right. Pull out of stilts for the flooding. Yes, for the flooding. It doesn't help you in the wind, but it does help you for the flooding. I don't know, would you live this close to the beach? Check out the marshes, the like salt water. I don't mind coming to the beach and like visiting the beach, but I don't think I would want to live out here. Well, you don't want to live by low lows? I think it's a different lifestyle. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. You work on the beach, you live on the beach, you don't really leave the beach. <laughs> That's what those people do. Most of the time. Not all the time. <laughs> if you're a true beach native. You eat on the beach. You fornicate on the beach. <laughs> you survive on the beach. Made it to the downtown beach area. Oh, there's people walking across their car. We're gonna have to stop for it. Woody's Pizza and Pub. Ooh, cool billboard up there. A mural, I should say. That's kind of neat. Foley Beach. Is it Foley or Folly? Shopping carts. I was gonna say shopping carts. Golf carts don't have to stop at stop signs. And turn left up here. Surf shop. You gotta find it fascinating when you open a business on the beach. How do you get like parking for that? Welcome to the Crab Shack. We went to a Crab Shack. Another one. Parking's gonna be fun. We'll figure it out. Alright, there's. What's this place called? Taco Boy. This is Taco Boy. Places, I forget to bring a sticker. Let's see if Macy has one. So here's where Taco Boy is located. It's a parking right across the way. I like the hotel in the distance. It reminds me of the Lonnie Guy from back in the day. You know about that? Oh, there you go. So here's Folly's Beach with some Taylor Swift in the background. Beach pigeons, y'all. Beach pigeons. Looking very snappy. Watch out, Miss Pigeon. Watch out. It doesn't look as crazy as the Dutch pigeons. It looks a little sane. And hydrated. Something I always find fascinating with beaches is when they have the, the sandbar piece to it. So you get that interesting, like, Plants. Is she lying away? 
Looks like there used to be some kind of like pier that used to come out from here, too. Place. They also have pretty cool benches here for people to sit when they fish. And just so you know, you're limited to two fishing rods if you decide to pay to fish here. The ocean. Ooh, there's something very far in the distance out there. It looks like some kind of barge. That's pretty neat. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. There's something way out there, too. So, what do you think of the beach? It's nice. I I would definitely come out here and stay. Um, it's not too crazy busy like like how Fort Myers was before the hurricane. Um, kind of makes me think of that smaller beach we stayed at in Myrtle, yeah. the Myrtle area. It's nice out here. It's kind of yeah. calm, relaxing. There's not much going on though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's some hang gliders in the distance. But yeah, it's it's a nice little beach. It's busy out on the water area. Like there's like kites and like you said, the people up in the parasailing thing. Okay. Some people flying kites. Yeah, it's nice and it's high tide right now too. So the water is definitely up pretty high. I'm excited for dinner. What about you? Yeah, taco boy. Taco boy. Taco boy. All right, let's see what else we can get into. So here's the little bar shop thing, right? and then they have a gift shop on this side. So we're gonna go check out the gift shop. Gift shop! Check out whatever that is. Yeah. Morris Island Lighthouse store. Here's some cool artwork. Taco Boy. What kind of tacos would you have at Taco Boy? Fish tacos? Man, check out all the mats. Oh no, you're good, you're good. Alright, so here's the appetizer trio. With salsa, queso, and the guacamole. How's the, how's the salsa? The salsa's great. 
taste the limes, the cilantro, it's really good. How is the queso? It's good so far. Next up, we have some guacamole. It's good. It's a little strong on the onion, but honestly, it's tasty. Not quite as good as Juan's, but still good. So this is the Contigo Lager. Apparently it's made with this restaurant and the Munkle Brewing Co. in Charleston. It's not bad. It tastes like any other lager, but it's not bad. Nice and joiner sweet tea. Maria taco. Uh, that's the bang bang. And then that is the barbecue chicken. Only three lot, two lines, the three tacos. Don't know how that works. Consume. What'd you get? Um, I got the burrilla, I got shrimp, and then I got the surfeit turf. And street some street corn. corn. And then yummy. rice and black beans. So get you in a minute and let you know what it tastes like. So dinner was tasty. Yeah, everything was good. It's definitely spicy, so know that going in. All the tacos had a really spicy kick to all of them, mm -hmm. which is good, but just be prepared if you don't like spicy. Uh, the atmosphere was really nice, kind of hoppy. Um, definitely bar scene, for sure. Yeah, they have a DJ downstairs in like the green area for some reason, but that music isn't played throughout the bar, so it's kind of weird that there's like different songs playing everywhere on the three different levels, but cool atmosphere. Definitely if you're down here, check it out. Would I go out of my way for it? I don't know about that, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, it was a nice little stop. We're gonna go see what else we can find down here on Folly Beach, and we'll take you along with us if we find it. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of like a tree house meets a bar. There's the very top roof. Yeah. Alright, we're exploring the sidewalks. They're uneven. Street coffee. What'd you say? I said this is basically the strip of the beach. The strip of the beach. Slice, there's pizza by the slice. Then there's a Coconut Joe's Beach Grill, Palm Sportswear, the Bounty Bar. So like a bounty hunter? I don't know. Another clothing place. There's City Hall. Anything happens at City Hall. Can I see again? Just a legit tip for everybody. Now it's $40 to park here. When we got here it was $20. So there's definitely some price gouging that goes on at this place on evenings. Time on Folly's Beach. In nine miles, take a slight left turn onto Wesley Drive. Check out the beach in the nightlife. Doopa doopa. Quintessential shark coming through building. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, right next to the city hall. <laughs> There's the pineapple hut, which I've seen on TikTok. Circle cat? Oh, yeah, circle cat. Yeah, whatever. It's gotta crack me. There's a restaurant bar. The washout. Oh, the Circle K actually looks new. Maybe it was built at Pier as well. Probably. And a bunch of churches. Weirdly, the island starts with like four churches. That's a nice little area. I think that's the community beach it told us we should go to. <laughs> Jellyfish, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, they're all 
cost a little too high for the camera. Traffic down traffic. It is a two-lane road on the way in. All right, so we've made it back to our hotel. Definitely check that video out in the upper right-hand corner. What'd you think of Foley Beach? It was cool. Um, just another like small town beach, nothing crazy. From this hotel location, it was maybe 15 minutes without traffic. With traffic, it took us a, over a half hour to get there earlier. So keep that in mind. It definitely depends on the time of day that you go down there. Yeah, and definitely watch out for the scammers. They definitely were increasing parking prices and stuff. It almost doubled by the time we left. So who knows how much they get? try to get at the end of the night. Uh, but it was a nice little area to hang out. The pier was fun. The couple good restaurants around there. We mm -hmm. heard that the uh, Roses... Is that Rita's. the other one? Rita's. Rita's was another good restaurant. Taco Boy was okay. It was definitely spicy, but a good restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then there's supposed to be another one that's like um, something Feo that's down the road. Char Feo. Char Feo. Char Feo. Something like that. Um, that that's also supposed to be really good. So there's a ton of beaches for us to check out and explore while we're down here in Charleston. So we'll see if we check out some more while we're here. Yeah, and if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye. Bye.